Howdy heretics, in Norway we say the initiative belongs to the one who takes it. And I've taken the initiative and instituted Pimo Day. Happy Pimo Day. It's the 18th of January, uh, every year. And you wonder what's a Pimo? Pimo means physically in, mentally out. And we use that about the poor buggers who are trapped in the Jehovah Witness cult. Or any cult. But in my case I was Pimo. I was trapped inside the cult against my will from 2004 to 2018 because I knew the religion was wrong. But you're not allowed to leave without losing all your friends and family. And in my case, my ex-wife was very religious and she was also had poor health. And I just thought, okay, religion give her some kind of sense of security. So. I did it for her, went to all the meetings, and it's really terrible to go to the meetings. In the beginning you know they're, it's not true, but then you start to realize that they, they know it's not true, the leaders know it's not true. They are lying, and then it's, you realize this is very sinister. They know they are lying about 607 and stuff like this, but they are still prepared to rip families apart if you tell anyone what you know and what they know. So it builds up stress. So it's not a good thing to be a Pimo. So I think, you know, when we leave the cult, we have no traditions. We never have Christmas or anything, and we can just make our own traditions. So I'm making the tradition Pimo Day. Happy Pimo Day. And we need something to do. So I think, what about Hallmark cards? We can send Hallmark cards to all the people we know are Pimos. If they are not Pimo, they don't know what it is. They just get a weird card. But even witnesses are allowed to celebrate Pimo Day. There's a lot of stuff they're not allowed to do, but I checked in the literature and there's no rule against celebrating Pimo Day. So even the governing body is allowed to celebrate Pimo Day. So please let me know down below any traditions you think we should incorporate in Pimo Day. I only can think about Hallmark cards, but we come up with more stuff. And we also need music. Uh, during the war in Norway, when, during the occupation, there was a guy who wrote a poem called Vorsjög. It's to translate to, you know, the sound of spring. You know the spring is coming. It's a very beautiful poem. And it was illegal during the war. Because the Germans realized that they're probably talking about us losing the war. We know the spring is coming. And they were right. <laughs> That's what it was about. But uh, it really describes the nature from a farmer's perspective that the spring is coming and, you know, it will be wonderful. So the poem was illegal, but after the war someone uh, wrote a tune, a beautiful melody to it. And it kind of illustrates how it is to be a poem. It's like the winter. It's a terrible winter. <laughs> You're living under Nazi occupation, in this case, the governing body. But it's a song of hope. There will be a spring. There will be freedom. And after the spring, there will be a summer. So, I'm gonna play it for you. It goes like this.
So, it's a nice tune. So, happy Pimo Day everyone. 18th of January. We have to come up with some traditions, what we should do to encourage the poor buggers still trapped inside the cult. So, I hope you like this video. I hope you're among my 144,000 subscribers. If not, this is your heavenly calling. So, please partake from the subscription and the notification bell. So, see you in paradise.